Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Tonight is Job chapter 22, and let's hop right into it. This is going to be verses 5 through 9. Eliphaz is talking to Job here. Is not your wickedness great, and your iniquity without end? For you have taken pledges from your brother for no reason, and stripped the naked of their clothing. You have not given the weary water to drink, and you have withheld bread from the hungry. But the mighty man possessed the land, and the honorable man dwelt in it. You have sent widows away empty, and the strength of the fatherless was crushed. So six times in a row, Eliphaz accused Job of things he hadn't done. He looked, he took all of the assumptions, I've talked about assumptions in previous videos, and all this time his friends are making all of these assumptions, or actually they're making one primary assumption, that he has sinned. And now what Eliphaz has done is he's taken that assumption without evidence, and now he's like, you know, based on your wealth, based on your power, based on your authority, based on your position, you've probably done this, 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 and this. Because that's what evil men with all of your credentials do. So since you've sinned, these are the things you've done. Really? Eliphaz, really? Double face palm. Guys, assumptions are one thing. If you're going to make an assumption, you do it with the greatest of reservations and with the greatest of constraints. You look at something, you have a little bit of evidence, you have a few pieces of evidence, but you can't really draw a definite conclusion, so you jump to this and you say, okay, based on this, I think this. And you take that evidence with the heaviest grain of salt you take you you make that assumption but you stay reserved about it you keep your doubts about it you make sure that you don't just assume that this is absolute truth because you don't know oh, excuse me oh, getting a little late here and what Eliphaz did to make to take that assumption and then make accusations based on that that is one of the absolute worst things you can do with any assumption. Accusations can be done without assumption, but rarely. So you can just make a bold-faced lie accusation. But the real problem with these kind of accusations is, from the bottom of his heart, he believed Job sinned. And so then he started, instead of having evidence and then coming up with an assumption, he had an assumption and then came up with evidence. And those were the accusations he did evil men throw accusations at other men to destroy them and to discredit them and to remove them from power. That is what a liar does. That is what a thief does. That's what a destroyer does. You know, and you, am I hinting at somebody? Am I hinting at something? Yes, I am. That is what Satan does. That is what his demons do. That is not what we should do. If you're the type of person to make assumptions, stop. Even if you have good evidence, just stop. And if you're the type of person to make accusations, then shut your mouth. Just shut your mouth and don't say a word. That is the last thing that you need to do that is so damaging and so destructive to other people. Even on this website, we've seen examples of accusations being thrown around with no truth behind them whatsoever. And careers, or potential careers, are completely crushed and destroyed. Accusations are the work of the evil one. And Eliphaz was certainly doing the devil's job by tearing down Job just a little bit further in the middle of his misery and agony. Guys, don't be the type of person to hurl accusations. Also, don't be the type of person to believe accusations. When you hear someone saying something about someone else, look into that. Check the evidence and double check it. Even triple check it. Make sure that what you're hearing is right. Make sure what you're hearing is true. Don't just take the other person's word for it. Not from me. Not from anybody. No, no matter how reputable and no matter how wonderful and how loving and caring they may be or may seem to be. And if you're going, again, if you're going to make any kind of assumption not only take it with the heaviest grain of salt and hold the deepest reservations toward it, also if you're going to assume anything, don't assume in the negative, assume out of love and out of mercy. That way, if you are wrong, 
You're safe before God and you're safe before man. And you can say, whoops, I was wrong. I apologize, please forgive me. And because you made those assumptions lightly and lightheartedly, it'll be a lot easier for you to recover from them once you're proven wrong. And whatever person you did think these things about, well, one, you shouldn't have accused them to begin with, but two, if you did, then at that point, it's a lot easier for that person to recover as well. Especially since you made the assumption in the positive to begin with, it'll be a lot easier for you to not only apologize, and you look good and they recover whatever they, whatever they lost, it'll be a lot easier for you to at that point help them and come up alongside them and say, hey, I was wrong, I'm sorry, let's take back the progress that I took away from you. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.